Today I want to talk about what I believe is the best and simplest, quickest method of tool generation uh, available in any CAM program out there. And I'm sure this is not the only program that does it this way, but I tend to believe this is the very best way to do it for a job shop like mine where we don't leave tools in the carousel and we're constantly doing small parts runs or one ofs. Now, uh, I also want to point out for those of you that aren't reading the blog post but are just looking at this on YouTube, uh, we're also talking about the ability to help eliminate tolerance stack up here and introduce discrepancies uh, using things like the uh, Renishaw probe on a Haas mill where you can generate a precise diameter on your tool, including three and five fluters, uh, eliminating what would be a problem with a cut path if you had a half inch end mill and in truth it really was a 0.4985 diameter say then that's a tolerance that you've lost there and those things all stack up so in any case uh, with this particular method you can easily account for the different sizes in your end mills straight from the factory and you can also go ahead and use resharpened end mills and not have any worries about the accuracy of your part and here's how we do this. It's a very simple, short process. Go over here and click Tool. And you see the prompts. Uh, I want to generate a new mill tool. To start off, you can assign the tool pocket here. Go to the cutter. Let's just say it was the same diameter that I mentioned earlier. So we have a 4985 type in your flute length, shoulder length, all of this data can be filled in in seconds. Uh, most of this you don't ever have to fool with. None of these have been relevant in anything that I've had to cut so far. Feeds and speeds of course you can change here. All right. Now you've created a new tool. For the purpose of this cam path, click on it and select it. And now you're ready to go with that tool. I can't think of a better way really to do this and I just thought that it would be of interest to you to see this. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you look into what I feel is the best way to do tool generation in a campaign. Thank you for your time.